Beloved, my name is Krista Pettiford. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I want to share a prophetic word with you. I believe that it's a season of surrender for many of us. And so I want to, in this video, share what God spoke to me. I heard him say it's a season of surrender. And while I think it's for me, I also think it's for many who are going through seasons of spiritual warfare or a waiting season or a season of transition. But first, I want to tell you what the difference between sacrifice and surrender is and then i'll talk about surrender and how we do that so sacrifice is to kill something or to slaughter it it is to put to death something in our bodies or in our lives and so when jesus asks us to when god calls us into a season of sacrifice when god calls us into a season of sacrifice he's asking us to give something up in a way that is causing death um, and it may bring life again but we're sacrificing it just like Jesus became the sacrificial lamb or lambs were sacrificed for us on our behalf or in the old uh, testament for people for their sins and so a sacrifice is to slaughter something it says that we are to be living sacrifices not just living epistles but living of but living sacrifices that means that we are daily dying to ourselves so that we can allow christ to live in and through us but surrender is giving something presenting something to god that he can do whatever he wants it to it's letting go of something that you want to that may still be living but you take control away from yourself and put it in God's hands to do whatever he wants to do with it and so God I believe is asking many to surrender the, their future their purpose and their plans into his hands and so when you're going through a transition season sometimes God gives you one step at a time when you're going through a waiting season it seems like you've done all you know to do and God is still asking you to stand but what he's saying is he wants you to surrender the timing to him he wants you to surrender surrender your plan to him and he wants you to surrender the not only the plan but the way the plan is worked out and so surrendering is giving it to God and so I believe that there are people who are like I said in a transition a transition is in between well, old season and a new beginning it's the time between what was and what shall be or what can be and I say can be because it's up to us what we do with the time in between what happens in our future and so when we surrender something to God and sacrifice does take some surrendering and surrender does take some sacrifice but they yet they're separate it's like sacrifice and offering you're yielding something to god you're giving something to god to bless it or to do whatever he wants with it versus slaughtering it and so in a season of transition or in a season of waiting which is also like a transition it could even be an end of a season or a new beginning but you don't have your next step yet god is saying surrender to me trust me I know you have a plan but I have a better plan and if you give up my plan if you give up your plan if you surrender your plan then you'll see the grandness that I have and the plan that I have for you he's saying to surrender the timing and not to get ahead of him so that you may have to wait on the Lord but if you wait on him and trust him then you will be better for it and so I just want to encourage you today that if you're going through a season and you don't not know what to do next or you have a plan but God has put his finger on it and you've come up with the plan and it looks like really a good plan but it may not be God or it looks like your only plan I, I would uh encourage you to submit it to the Lord to surrender it to him and see what the Lord says to you see if it's what he wants surrender this season to him a send a surrender of a season of surrender is really giving up to gain it's laying something down it's laying down your time it's reminding yourself that you've been bought with the price the precious blood of Jesus Christ and you are not your own so it's not your way it's not your will but it's his to be done and I believe that God is asking for this season of surrender and he's um 
bringing many into a season of surrender because he has something for you. But if you don't surrender what you have, if you don't surrender your plans and what you thought was going to be, and even surrender the disappointments, the hurts, the, the offenses and the things that you've been through that you haven't been able to let go of and you feel justified and you feel like you deserve vindication, God is asking you to surrender it all. And then let him do whatever he wants with it so that he can bring you through in his way. Not your way, not your timing, not according to your plan, but according to his. So I pray that this bless you. And if you're in a season of surrender, let me know what led you to this season um, in the comments. And let me know if the word bless you. Let me know if it resonates with you. I know it's short today, but it's just to the point. You, God is calling you into a season of surrender, especially if you're in transition and you're asking God when, when, then he's saying, surrender that to me. If you're saying, here's my plan and it keeps failing, then he wants you to surrender your plan to him. If you're not getting a warm and fuzzy feeling and you don't have peace about what you're trying to do, then that's the Holy Spirit speaking to you and saying, surrender your plan. I have a better plan. And so God bless you until next time.